Okay, in this video we're going to talk about dividing fractions. Um, we have two fractions, negative 3 over 8 divided by 7 over 12. And the rule is to keep, change, and then flip. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you're going to keep the first fraction the same, negative 3 over 8. You're going to change the division to multiplication and you're going to flip the second fraction. So instead of 7 over 12, it becomes 12 over 7. And you know with multiplication is what we have right now. So we either can multiply straight across and then reduce, or what's easier is to cross reduce. So um, we look at the 8 and we look at the 12 and we say, well, what do those two numbers have in common? I know I can divide by 2, but I also know I can divide by 4. So if I divide by 4, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. I can't do anything with the 3 and the 7, so I'm just going to multiply straight across. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and 2 times 7 is 14. So there's our answer, negative 9 over 14. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, in this case we have 3 fifths divided by negative 12. Well, if we want to make this a fraction, we can simply put it over 1. Now we have a fraction, so now we can do our keep, change, flip. 3 fifths stays the same. We're going to change the division to multiplication, and we're going to flip it. We keep that negative sign though, and it be, oh, sorry. Instead of 12 over 1, we said we needed to flip it, so it becomes negative 1 over 12. We're just flipping these two numbers, getting the reciprocal, but we keep the negative sign the same. Well, now all that's left to do is cross-reduce. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 also fits into 12, right? So 12 divided by 3 is 4. We're looking at the, two num the number that the two here have in common. And we determined, well, that was 3. 3 fits into 3, and 3 fits into 12. So I can divide both of those by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now the 1 and the 5 only have a 1 in common, so now we multiply straight across. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 over 5 times 4 is 20. And that's our final answer. Can't reduce that any further, so we have our final answer. Let's do another one. Okay, we have they, uh, we have five and one fourth divided by two and one third. Uh, so that's a mixed number. So what do we do here? Well, we know we have to change this right away to improper fractions. Five times four is twenty. Plus one is twenty-one. Over four divided by, now I'm not flipping yet, I'm just changing their, their form. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7 over 3. Now I'm going to do the keep, change, flip. So I'm going to keep 21 over 4. I'm going to change to multiplication, and then I'm going to flip to 3 over 7. So what happens next? The thing that happens next is the cross-reducing. So let's cross-reduce. 7 and 21. Looking at those numbers, we know 21 is a multiple of 7. 7, 14, 21. So 7 fits into 21 for sure. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 and 4, I can't do anything to simplify that, so I'm just going to now multiply across the top. 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 times 1 is 4. And I have 9 over 4 is my final answer. Now I also could simplify that um, into a mixed number. 9 divided by 4, well, 4 times 2 is 8, right? So 4 fits into 9 two times with 1 left over. And we put the denominator underneath. So this right here is simply a division problem, right? 4 into 9. 4 into 9 goes 2 times. 8. We do the subtraction. You get 1. You put that 1 on the top and the 4 on the bottom from here. 
Okay, so the last problem I want to do is um, a little more involved. It involves multiplication and division, so I'm just going to erase this real quick, and I'm going to write my last problem up. Sorry. Um, and the last problem, like I said, it involves multiplication and division. So let me write that. It's 1 over 3 squared. Now I did go over these problems with you, so you should, this should look familiar. Times 2 fifths divided by 3 over 9. Okay, so there's a few steps that have to happen over here. Okay, so we have 1 over 3 squared. Well, what does that mean? The most important thing is to take care of that, right? Because we have exponents first. So 1 third squared just simply means 1 third times 1 third. Now I have times 2 fifths to add in there. And then all over 3 over 9. Um, if I look at this on the top, well, can I cross-reduce anything there? Unfortunately, no, I can't. But I can go ahead and simplify this further. Look at the two fractions on the top, and we can simplify that further by saying 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9. So what I have here is 1 over 9 times, now I'm going to add in the last fraction, 2 over 5 all over 3 over 9. All I'm doing is taking these two and multiplying them. That's all I did so far. Okay, so now what? Well, now I want to take these. Can I cross-reduce anything? No. So I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 1, and I get a 2. I'm going to work down here. I get a 2 divided by 9 times 5 is 45. So I have 2 over 45 all over 3 over 9. Now I can rewrite this. 1 times 2 is 2, 9 times 5 is 45, that's how I got this, divided by 3 over 9. That's what I did right here. So this sign right here, this line right here, is division right there. So that means this is division, right? And another way of writing this would be 2 over 45 divided by 3 over 9. So we're not done yet. We actually have to do the keep change flip thing. So this becomes 2 over 45 times 9 over 3. Now I can cross reduce that. Hopefully you can see all this. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 45 divided by 9 is 5. Now I can multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times 3 is 15. And I have my final answer. So you might have to replay this last problem because it is a little bit more involved. The steps are first to square and then spread it all out so you see what you have. Look to see if you can cross-reduce anything or reduce anything in, in the top, in the numerator. If you can't, well then just start to combine. The one-third times one-third is one-ninth. Then you have the two-fifths that you still have to multiply out. Now we're going to multiply those two. And we cleaned it up so that we just have 2 over 45 divided by 3 over 9. But we can rewrite that. So this and this are exactly the same. 2 over 45 divided by 3 over 9, it's written the same. 2 over 45 divided by 3 over 9, it's the same thing. It's actually written differently, but it means exactly the same. But now we can, this allows us to do the keep change flip thing. So 2 over 45 times 9 over 3, I reduce and I get my final answer. And that's it. Replay the video and practice.